Welcome back to Cheddar's Opening Bell, everyone. Well, Booking Holdings is the next company we're going to discuss this topic with as Americans feel divided heading into the election. Booking Holdings is trying to appeal to the togetherness of the country with its latest ad campaign. And Booking is debuting the America is for Everyone campaign, where it's highlighting destinations within the country that make you feel like you've taken a trip overseas. For more on this, we're joined by Ariane Dyke, who is the Chief Marketing Officer at Booking.com. Ariane, great to have you here with us today. We got to know, what are some of these unique destinations that you're highlighting? Yeah, we have actually 10 of them. And uh, I think we all know kind of Little Italy in New York or Chinatown in, in San Francisco. But we don't really know other ones that are more like Vietnam or like Denmark or like Greece. And um, so the many actually destinations that are in our own backyard and you can discover kind of international cultures within the US. And we all know that traveling is a bit challenging, but now you can explore those international cultures actually at home or close to home. Okay, and so with those unique destinations that you're highlighting, how has the popularity of, of road trips, of alternative forms of travel, altered booking holdings in the way that you go to customers and clients? Yeah, so clearly, you know, we're far more restricted in how we travel. And we see that when we talk to our customers, that a couple of things are important. First of all, you know, can you cancel for free? Can you reschedule for free? What are the kind of cleaning measures that, that, that are in place? And um, I do think that still, uh, when I get that question often, is that, you know, people are still very much in love with traveling. And we see actually that people are dreaming a lot about traveling and they still want to stay in a nice hotel. But we see also that vacation rentals are becoming more popular and so people really considering I want probably want my own kitchen I want my own kind of standalone uh, unit where you can be with the family so um, those are kind of things that we're seeing in the market at the moment what is the most surprising destination that you've continued to see travelers be willing to go to directly well, we actually did a whole research um, some months ago uh, of the top five destinations that people were dreaming of. And we saw, for example, that New York City is still very, very high up there, which is great because I love New York City. But you would probably think within the current Corona crisis that people would say, nah, I'd rather go to a beach. But you still see that fortunately, the Big Apple is still up there where people are dreaming of, of going. Okay, and so with that in mind, I think about all of the different destinations that people may not have been able to go to this year, but they look to for next year. How do you anticipate what some of the travel is going to look like, given some of the headwinds that we're facing right now, just in forecasting and modeling exactly when that consumer demand will come back? Yeah, it's clearly very challenging. Huh? So when you look forward, you know, when is the time we really can travel internationally? You know, that's really difficult to tell. The good news is that domestically there are a lot of options and there are probably a lot of places that people haven't been. And to be fair, that's the reason we launched also the America is for everyone campaign, because we realized that actually a lot of places where there's a lot of international culture that people are not necessarily aware of. And um, I myself, uh, and when you go to booking.com, you see actually the 10 destinations that we're highlighting. Um, you know, there are a, a lot of on there that I didn't even know of, eh, that are like, oh my God, I want to go there, that's fun. Eh? And then at least you can have a little bit of international culture, you know, in our own country. You know, the question that a lot of people, travelers, may be asking themselves going into this holiday season, like we've all been trying to kind of wait around, is is it safe to travel, to see family, to see friends? Uh, and at time of year when we typically would go see them for perhaps Thanksgiving or Christmas or the New Year's or Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, so forth. And so when you look at across this broader space right now, what is booking doing in, in terms of communicating with customers where it is safe to travel, how it's safe to travel, if it is safe to do so, when you do have some of the healthcare officials and medical officials, uh, Dr. Anthony Fauci most prominently, saying that this perhaps isn't the holiday season when you should be doing so if we are doing our best to uh, curb the spread of this virus? No, of course. And I do think that it's really important that we listen carefully to kind of the official messages and that we're really careful, you know, in, in how we travel. However, if you travel, you know, you have to look really what you can do and cannot do. And I believe that traveling domestically, 
you know, gives fortunately still a couple of options that are kind of safe huh? um, because we've seen, for example, that vacation rentals, you know, are getting more and more popular and that a lot of our customers are actually going to booking.com to look for a great vacation rental to have actually space around you and have a bit more, more breathing with the family and have your own kitchen and everything. Certainly. As we've seen, a lot of the airlines uh, really institute their own testing models and practices. How does that perhaps overflow into the accommodation space as well, uh, where in the airlines you've got people who will get to the airport, perhaps the airport itself will be doing testing, offering testing, or the airline that they're booked on will be offering testing. How does that overflow into the hotel, the accommodation space? Yeah, so I can let me talk for booking.com. I think the most important thing we can do for our customers is to provide flexibility. Huh? And one of the key things we offer uh, on a lot of our accommodations is free cancellation. Uh, and that's, I, I think, really important because you can then take an informed decision if it's safe to travel or not. And, and you're able to more or less cancel for free when you need it or to reschedule for free when you need it. So I do think that that is really difficult, uh, uh, key and really important and uh, clearly very difficult to predict you know, where the future is going. But for example, if you're planning now for Christmas, really difficult for you, me or anyone to predict how the world will look like. I love the campaign title, America is for Everyone. Uh, of course, it comes at a time where we need more of a unifying message, uh, and it's great to discuss that here with you today. Ari Dyke, who is the Chief Marketing Officer at Booking.com, thanks for taking the time here with us.